So this has been a long time in coming. When I was younger, I used to attend a lot of summer camps. At uh, one of these camps, I heard the following story. My brother has a friend who work, who's a metal worker. He made a leather jacket lined with chain mail. He says it'll stop a 357 Magnum at point blank range. So having actually grown up shooting and having a fair amount of firearms experience, my natural reaction was this. The story was clearly bullshit. But what could I do? I didn't own a 357 Magnum and I certainly didn't have a suit of chainmail laying around. Oh, how the times have changed. This chain shirt was made for me by my friend Jeff. This firearm, as some of you may recognize, is my Chiapa White Rhino in 357 Magnum. At long last, I am equipped to shovel the bullshit from this childhood tall tale. There are a few issues, though. First, I enjoy being alive, and I have more than two functioning neurons. Therefore, I can't really wear the shirt for this experiment. Second, I can't put it on someone else. I mean, I enjoy not being in jail. Now, I could just put it on a mannequin, but I also kind of like this shirt. Once again, my friend Jeff came to the rescue. This is a male swatch made of 14 gauge anodized steel. This is my good friend Commodore Cantaloupe. He's a pleasant enough fellow, but he's old and none too bright. He's also been accused of being not so honest. Honesty aside, he has agreed to don my tiny suit of armor for the benefit of my experiment. Thing is, I won't be using the 357 Magnum. I won't even be using the oft-maligned 32 ACP. No, I will be using the Model T of the planking world, the 22 long rifle round. And I will be firing it from the shortest barrel that I could find. As a show of respect for the Commodore, I helped him don his tiny armor in the traditional fashion of his medieval melon ancestors. Your blindfold, sir, and Godspeed. The results were not pretty. Though the chainmail had caused some deflection, the wounds were still clearly fatal. No, we can't end things on that note.